As technology advances, so does technology use among children. They have television, video games, computers, and mobile devices to choose from. Sometimes they even use some of them at the same time, otherwise known as technology multitasking. There are several studies and statistics on children's media consumption. The data found in these studies reveals how often children consume media and their multitasking habits. For example, a study done by Common Sense Media shows that 68% of children 5 through 8 use a computer at least once a week. A 2010 Nielsen study suggests that 36% of children between the ages of 2 and 11 use both media, internet and television simultaneously. Altogether, children between the ages of 8 through 10 spend about 5.5 hours each day using media, 8 hours if you count the additional media consumed while multitasking. In a study Stanford University did, they found that technology multitasking is hindering the development of children's social skills. Stanford University interviewed Professor Cliff Nass about the study. Watch what he had to say in this video. You know, kids these days adapt to just about everything, especially technology. I mean, have you ever seen a child who doesn't love buttons and pressing those tech things? No, even preschoolers seem captivated by the video and the colors that come with computers and electronic gadgets. So when do you let them have their own? Here's Kimberly Richardson. Adults love our smartphones and tablets, and so do kids. But child experts say too much tech time can rob children of the chance to develop social skills. On the cell phone or on the computer, then they're probably not outside playing. They're not engaged in physical activities. They may not be um, interacting with other people, their family or their friends, developing those social skills. There really isn't a set age for parents to decide when a child can get on a computer or have their own cell phone. One size definitely does not fit all. It's up to parents to decide if the child is mature we'll enough to handle it. Parents Go should on. supervise the child and teach them Click how to use the technology appropriately. Dr. Eshelman also says it's good for parents to show kids how easy it is to find or see something they're not supposed to. We oftentimes hear stories about um, young kids connecting with adults that are not safe. So that type of thing does happen. But even um, browsing websites, uh, typing in something that seems innocent or benign, you can oftentimes find a website that is really not appropriate for young kids. And it's always a good idea to make tech time together time for parents and young children. And to make sure you have software blockers installed to protect kids from inappropriate websites. Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7. I wouldn't snooze.